Hello, movie people. Welcome to episode of The Senate Guy. I'm your host, Steven Gould. Let's talk film. Have you ever felt like nobody was around? Do you ever feel alone or forgotten? Then in that case, turn off this video and go seek mental health because your mental health is important to me. Dear Evan Hansen, yet another movie adaptation of a musical because who knows? We have plenty of those so far. We follow the story of a young man named Evan Hansen who takes advantage of a grieving family just because he's anxious and he can. That's literally the plot of the movie and the show. Now, I've seen the show live, and let me tell you, it's phenomenal. Incredible acting, unforgettable soundtrack. The lighting and the scenery was just so beautifully done. Although, its take on mental health is a little controversial. And this movie is no different. We follow Evan Hansen, played by Ben Platt, once again, who is nearing 30. And seriously, guys, I mean... He could have cameoed as like a janitor or maybe the guidance counselor. He has social anxiety and can't really talk to people, like in the show. But then his life tur gets turned around when he becomes involved with a grieving family whose teenage son commits, committed suicide. So the son is named Connor Murphy and he ended up having a letter that was addressed to Evan Hansen. But that Evan Hansen wrote for himself. But, you know, because they found it in his dead body, they figured, oh, they must be best friends because he wrote to Evan. Now, does Evan be do the responsible thing and tell the truth? No. He creates this entire fantasy where he and their mentally unstable son were suddenly best friends who went apple picking and, I don't know, played Dance's Revolution. That, that's what the movie showed. Now, I understand why Connor Murphy's parents would want to, like, believe that their son had a secret friend. Because this guy, I guess he had, like, antisocial personality disorder. So, he was a little unstable. And now that he's dead, his family did not want to, you know, leave with the fact that, oh, our son was crazy and he's dead, so that's that. No, they, want, they wanted to really understand who this guy really was. Because all they knew of him was by what was, was on the outside. So, in a way, this whole narrative that Evan plants in their brains piece and bits by bits it was a way of like i guess like the stage of grief that it was a, not even acceptance it was more of like they're still in denial that their son is that their son will kill himself and not have a life or anything so they're still in this state they're still denying that this they're still denying that this their son was just a crazy a regular crazy person through fits and everything and now they're living in this whole world that Evan Hansen is trying to create. But it's a damn lie. Which is why when Evan admits the truth, we're back to square one. Now, they have to be at the stage of a sentence. Like, oh, I guess my son was crazy and unstable and now he's gone. So, how dare I believe a lie? Here's something that the movie does differently than the show. After Evan tells the truth, okay, the fan pushes him away. So, in the show, it's kind of like, okay, Evan uh, reconnects with his mother, and then they we push back to the uh, apple orchard, where he meets up with Zoe Murphy, and she forgives him. But not in this one. Before all that, Evan decides to do a little research and get to know who Connor Murphy is. Well, first things first, he did confess on Instagram, of all places, that he told the lie, so that that way the Murphys wouldn't be hated, and people will blame him them for his death. So what? So Evan decides to get to know Connor Murphy by reading his favorite books, uh, talking to the people who were part of like his like re rehabilitation group, until this one person that he reconnects with sends him a video of Connor playing guitar and singing an original song. Now, his family mentioned that Connor loved to play guitar, but he never, never, ever shared it with his family. So, right there, from that little video little of Evan's research, they, the Murphys finally got to know who Connor really was. So now, the acceptance is there that, like, okay, my son was more than just a crazy person. He had a gift. That right there proves insight into, into the, who the real Connor Murphy is, because the show just ends with him being a mystery, like... Oh, he was just a crazy person, and you just took advantage of him. Now, I understand the controversy regarding this film, besides Ben Platt's age, of course. We get that Evan is suicidal and has severe social anxiety, 
But his characterization surrounding the character Zoe is a little creepy, especially when he when uh, he sings the whole song about that may seem like Connor knew these things about her. But in reality, it was just him watching her from a distance. Very stalker is she like that's kind of I, I don't care how anxious you are. That's a little creepy. Oh, yeah. Just study from a distance and use it to your advantage to make it look like your dead brother was doing it. Oh, yeah, that's how that's that's exactly how you get the girl. And as far as Amanda Steinberg's character goes, I do appreciate the fact that we get to explore her character more because in the show she was like, it's it's very brief. It just says like, oh, I, I know what it feels to be left to be alone. But no, here it's made more of an effort, especially since she's in an original song with the Pasek brothers. She, it does reveal like, okay, she has depression. She gets lonely, even though she easily hides it. When she becomes more involved with extracurricular activities, she loves to like get people involved. Like, hey, come join this. Come learn about this. We're doing this. And Jared, uh, Evan's friend, yeah, he was just a big jerk in this movie. I mean, at least the show made an effort to show that he actually saw Evan as a friend, even though at first he didn't. See, that's why you do not cut out good for you from, from the show in the movie. Like, no, 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 no. You don't cut that song out. That's like the... Biggest sarcastic middle finger to F. I'm like, oh, so I guess you don't need me anymore so you're perfectly happy. Okay, bye-bye then. And not just that, the mom feels betrayed because she's been lied to pretty much the entire time. Like, the show, it made it seem like she was never there even though, you know, obviously a mother still loves her son. I mean, her, at least here, it shows that she's trying. And Evan's the one pushing her away. And for some reason, they made Jerry gay. I don't know. They just had to throw in a gay character in there. I don't know. They they had to they had to do something for diversity, even though he's played by an Indian dude. So you do pretty, pretty much doing a pretty good job right there. I don't know. Overall, it's a pleasant musical movie. That's not the worst thing out there. I mean, you can appreciate how they you know use the source material and put in some new things. I mean, the acting was pretty well done. The singing was really really good as well. And let me just say, I had no idea Amy Adams and Kaylin Dever had bars. Wow. So if you enjoy the musical, then maybe you might find some enjoyment in this movie. Depends on who you are. I mean, and maybe next time if you want to, you know, adapt a, a musical movie that takes place in high school, actually cast people that look like they belong in high school. I would not have minded Ben Platt as like a dancing janitor. That would have been awesome to watch. Where is my Ben Platt dancing janitor? So my final rating is going to be 7.2 Apple Orchards out of 10 Instagram posts. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the crew. I'll see you next time for an awesome review. Be sure to follow the social media at, at Cineguy Stephen for reviews. That is at Cineguy Steven. Links are down below. Do follow the Instagram page. I, I like to post some like other reviews there too. Alright, this is Steven Gould signing off. You will be found.